Hello everyone. Welcome to Sai Ease. In the last video, I told you about pH. So what pH is? pH is the hydrogen ion concentration. Okay. Now I have shown you pH paper also which has a scale of 0 to 14. From 0 to 6, the substances which have pH from 0 to 6, they are the acids. The substance which has a pH of 7, that is neutral in nature. Water has a pH of 7. And the substances which have pH from 8 to 13, 14, that is, they are the bases. They are the bases. Okay? So, pH, we know about pH in detail. What is the importance of pH in our day-to-day -day life? That we will study in this video. So, the topic is importance of pH in everyday life. First thing, that is importance of pH in human body. What is the role of pH in human body? Our body works well within the range of pH 7 to 7.8. Okay? So, our body works within the pH range of 7 to 7.8. Our stomach produces HCl. HCl means hydrochloric acid, which helps in the digestion of food. Okay? But when there is indigestion, when there is indigestion, Excess of HCl that is produced, okay? Excess of HCl is produced and that will cause pain and irritation in our food pipe, okay? Our stomach produces HCl acid. During indigestion, the stomach produces too much of acid and this causes pain and irritation. So, what we should do? What we should do to remove, to get rid of this pain and irritation. To get rid of this pain or irritation, we should take some base. Okay? We should take some base. Why? In order to neutralize the acid, excess acid which is formed due to indigestion. So, to get rid of this pain, People uses bases and what are they known as? They are known as antacids. Okay? They are known as antacid. In our kitchen, a very common base that is baking soda is there. Okay? Baking soda is the home remedy to neutralize the excess acid which causes pain and irritation in the food pipe. Okay, you can take glass full of water to it. You add three fourth spoon of baking soda, stir it well and drink. Okay, this will have a soothing effect in a food pipe. Why? Because it is neutralizing the excess acid which is formed due to indigestion. So, you must have uh, uh, this term antacid must be clear to all of you. These antacids, they neutralizes the excess acid. Okay. There are many antacids in the market. Okay. I have told you about the home remedy. You can take Eno that will have a immediate relief. You can take milk of magnesia. What is that? That is magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide is also known as milk of magnesia and uh, 
you purchase or the doctor prescribes gelusil or digin tablet or the solution okay so gelusil and digin they are very good for this uh, to remove this pain and irritation which is due to indigestion of food kab hoti hai indigestion jab hum koi party rat को अटेंड करके आए हैं या कोई मैरिज सो दैट वी ईट इन एक्सेस हैवी फूड एंड दैट फ्राइड एंड हैवी फूड दैट विल कॉज पेन एंड इरिटेशन इन द फूड पाइप एंड इन ऑर्डर टू न्यूट्रलाइज इट यू टेक एंट एसिड इन एम्प्टी स्टमिक ऑल्सो दे आर सम एंट एसिड्स यू कैन टेक दैट ऑल्सो इन ऑर्डर टू रिलीव योर सेल्फ ओके so this is the first use of ph in human body second one is ph change as a cause of tooth decay teeth they are very important for us and when they get decayed lot of pain is there and doctor charges heavy amount डॉक्टर क्या करेगा वो खूब पैसे लेगा इम्प्लांट करने के या रूट कनाल करने के सो यू मस्ट प्रोटेक्ट योर टीथ ओके सो टूथ डिके वेन इट स्टार्ट्स टूथ डिके स्टार्ट्स वेन पीएच ऑफ माउथ इज लोअर देन 5.5 पॉइंट फाइव पी एच ऑफ माउथ इज लोअर देन फाइव पॉइंट फाइव देन टूथ डिके स्टार्ट्स there is one coating on our teeth that is known as enamel enamel is the hardest substance in our body okay it does not dissolve in water but it will corrode when the ph in the mouth is below 5.5 okay enamel is the hardest substance it does not dissolve in water and but tooth enamel is corroded when ph in the mouth is below 5.5 what is enamel enamel is made up of calcium phosphate okay this is made up of calcium phosphate having formula ca Three PO four whole twice. How it is formed? You should know the valencies. Then you can deduce that it has a formula Ca three PO four whole twice. So tooth enamel is corroded when pH in the mouth is below five point five. Bacteria present in the mouth, they will produce excess acid. How they produce excess acid? they will degrade the degrade means they will break down the sugar and the food particles remaining in the mouth after eating you must have seen in some advertisements of uh, toothbrush or toothpaste that sometimes the uh, these eatables okay are food particles they remain in the spaces in our teeth and when we don't rinse our teeth after the meal then bacteria will break down sugars they will degrade means they will break down sugars and the food particles remaining in the mouth after eating so it is must that you should brush your teeth after every meal at least you should rinse your mouth twice thrice after every meal and in the morning at night also you should brush your teeth properly okay now i will tell you that we use toothpaste for brushing our teeth toothpaste they are the basic substances okay using toothpaste which are generally basic what is the function 
the base will neutralize the excess acid formed okay so using toothpaste which are generally basic can neutralize the excess acid so how important this ph is to us that i have told you the third importance of ph is in plants ph also affects the plants plants require specific range of ph for their healthy growth and different crops they require different ph for their proper, proper growth for this you can perform the activity that you can take some soil of your locality and put it in a beaker half full half filled with water okay stir it well and then using the universal indicator that is ph paper you can see that what is the ph of that soil and which crop that is growing in that soil means wheat rice or paddy uh, you can say okay corn etc maize they require different ph okay so this also affects the change in the ph that also affects the growth of the plant change in the ph of the soil that affects the growth of the plant this is the third point now fourth point is self defense by the animals and the plants through chemical warfare sometimes you see that bee sting be that sting on your arm bee sting leaves an acid which causes pain and irritation ekdam se wo kaat jati hai to hame pain hoti hai irritation hoti hai so what we should what is the reason for that pain because bee inject some acid okay it injects some acid in your skin that causes pain in order to neutralize that effect of the acid we should use baking soda okay use of the mild base like baking soda baking soda is very useful you can see that it's a very useful base baking soda you apply on the stung area and that will give the relief okay in the same way sometimes ant brown ant it uh sting it wo cut cut jati hai aapko aur wahan bhi irritation hoti hai so what we should apply again baking soda okay kyunki wo formic acid inject kar deti hai okay different that is the effect of the acid okay that irritation takes place pain takes place so in order to neutralize it baking soda that is used okay one very interesting example stinging hair of the nettle leaves inject methanoic acid causing burning pain so there is some plant also that that inject methanoic acid when it is accidentally touched okay so in order to neutralize it again a base that can be applied or nature has given a remedy there is growth of the dock plant near the nettle plant okay nettle plant ke paas hi dock plant laga hota hai okay when we rub the leaves of the dock plant on that area where this uh, stinging hair of the nettle leaves have injected methanoic acid you will see that the irritation will vanish this means that the dock plant leaves of the dock plant they have a basic effect nature has given the remedy also near that that is a natural remedy you can say okay 
Next is change in the pH results in the acid drain. Where there are many factories, etc., you see that sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide gases, they are, uh, they are formed. Okay? Like you can take the case of the Taj Mahal. Why the yellowing of the Taj Mahal that is taking place? This is due to the acid rain. How acid rain that is formed? Because sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide, which are known as acidic gases, they react with the rain water, okay? And they will result in the formation of the, they, they will result in the formation of acid rain. And when acid rain falls on some monuments made up of marble, okay, that will corrode it, yellowing of the marble that takes place due to this acid rain. Okay, so when pH of the rainwater is less than 5.6, when is acid rain results? When pH of the rainwater that is less than 5.6, it is called the acid rain. When acid rain that flows in the rivers, it lowers the pH of the river water, okay? Then acid rain that flows in the river, it will lower the pH of the river water and the survival of the aquatic life in such rivers that will become difficult. So I have told you in detail about the importance of the pH in everyday life. pH is important for human beings, for plants, for everything. Or you can say living organism, all the living organisms, pH affects, change in the pH affects. So this is all about the importance of pH in everyday life. I will meet you in my next video with some other topic of this chapter. Till then, thank you very much.